Changing the Wi-Fi on your Google Home isn't a Herculean task. But Google doesn't exactly hand you a shiny neon sign explaining how to do it. If you're feeling stuck, you're not alone. Let's tackle this step by step. First, here's the frustrating thing. You can't just update the Wi-Fi on your Google Home. If you've changed your router, password, or moved to a new network, you'll need to reconnect it from scratch in the Google Home app. Slightly annoying? Yes. Doable? Absolutely. Open your Google Home app. It's that colorful house icon on your phone, usually next to a hundred other apps that you forget to use. Once inside, find the Google Home device you want to update. If you don't see it, don't panic. We'll fix that. Tap on your Google Home device. A window should pop up with an obnoxiously cheerful menu. Look for the gear icon. It represents settings. From there, scroll down and tap on Wi-Fi. You'll be given the option to forget this network. Hit that. At this point, your Google Home will detach itself from your old Wi-Fi like a teenager deciding they don't need curfews anymore. The speaker or display will chime or tell you it's now ready for a fresh network. Time for the fun part. Go back to the Google Home app's main screen and tap the plus icon at the top left corner. Choose Setup Device and then New Devices. The app will search for nearby Google devices. This part can take a few seconds, like your dog sniffing out treats. Once your Google Home is recognized, tap on it to initiate the setup. The app will guide you through connecting to your home's new Wi-Fi network. Make sure you've got your network name and password ready. This is not the moment to forget. When prompted, select your new Wi-Fi network from the list. Type in the password carefully. I can't stress this enough. Double check it before you hit connect. Fat finger that password and you'll be doing this all over again. If your Google Home successfully connects, it'll cheerfully announce its satisfaction. If it doesn't, you'll hear that sinking feeling in your chest instead. Go back. Retrace your steps and ensure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi as your Google Home. Here's a pro tip for you. If you switch Wi-Fi networks often, maybe at a vacation house or different offices, consider creating identical network names and passwords. This makes your devices think they're on the same network, even when they're not. Another small headache you might encounter? Weak Wi-Fi signals. If your Google Home struggles to connect, try placing it closer to your router during setup, then move it back to its usual spot afterward. It's a small hassle, but often solves the problem. Once everything is connected, you're golden. Your Google Home should be back to playing your favorite playlists, setting timers, and answering weird questions about giraffe necks. Technology can be fickle, but earning a small victory over it feels great. Go get them.